Today I'm going to talk about a very common problem that I encounter designing sites in Webflow. And that is a limitation of the rich text areas and the ability to insert tables, particularly editable tables. For a lot of clients, there's a need to arrange data in an editable way, but that appears to clients in a table format, very much like the old school HTML tables that frequented the web everywhere. That need is still there, but the Webflow rich text editor does not support anything like this. Here's an example of a table in this context. I could create this table simply as a piece of artwork, update it, upload it, and embed it in each time. However, when you're building a website for clients, in particular, this is very inconvenient for them. Clients want to be able to update their content anytime they need to, to keep it current, this is very especially the case when you're dealing with something such as a pricing table, as an example of this website. Now it turns out that it is possible to embed a table without writing too much raw HTML. And the, the method that I've taken for these websites is to embed an image that is produced live by a Google document, in particular, a Google uh, presentation. So very much like PowerPoint, Google Drive has its own PowerPoint-like facility. And I can export a slide from that PowerPoint, which has whatever artwork, text, illustrations, graphs, charts, and tables that I want on it the, with a few caveats. The first caveat is that it must be public. It must be something that people can read publicly. Otherwise, it will just appear as a broken graphic to people who do not have access to that particular document. And second, it, the slide will always be a fixed size, a fixed width and height. Even if I don't use the entire slide, Google's presentations, Google Slides software is not smart enough to recognize that that should be cropped or even can be cropped to minimize the white space. It also cannot go further than the length of a slide. So this will only be suitable for content that you can make fit. Let's have a look at this Google slide side of things. Here is that first example I gave you. And you can see here, all I've got is a Google slide. I've got only one of them here. I could have several and I could choose which slide I want to present. But for this, for this particular project, it made much more sense to do this. I inserted the table. I chose how many rows and columns I want in that table, I formatted that table, I put some text in that table, and I made that table fit the complete slide area as much as possible. Now to get that into Webflow, particularly to get it to appear inside of a rich text component, I had to do something a little bit sneaky. Essentially what I did was I dropped in an embed, which is a feature that Webflow rolled out in, during 2020, as I recall. And essentially, I can insert in an embed like this. Create a blank line, just as though I'm going to insert an image. And then I can use this little insert embed facility here, and I can paste in some custom code. The custom code that I'm gonna paste in is nothing but an image element. And I'm gonna break this down so you can see what's going on here. What I've got is an image element with a source, I haven't specified width or height. You could do that if you wanted to. I didn't find that necessary. In this case, I've got a source, which is a very particular source. I'll paste into this YouTube uh, comments so that you don't need to retype it. It's uh, docs.google.com presentation. And then you'll see here is going to be the document link identifying your specific presentation file. You can think of it a bit like a UID. Make certain that you capture the whole thing, including hyphens and whatever. That will be absolutely necessary. And you can see the tail here says export as a ping. And what Google Drive does is it will take this slide and it will export it as a portable network graphic and it will allow me to simply access it directly as a graphic. If I were to paste this into a web browser, I would actually get it given to me with a MIME type of ping. So it would actually try to try to encourage me to download it, as you can see here. And it's giving me a ping file. So this is fantastic for my purposes. All I need to do is to create this. I'm going to discard it here and show you 
the final one here I've placed I've got that embed in place and I've got two of them in this document another one here and any time that I modify that original source document it will update and it will the ping will automatically refresh usually within a few seconds certainly I've not seen it take longer than 10 seconds to refresh so this gives me the best of both worlds. I get some artistic control and some template control and some formatting control, but I also get to give my clients an easy way to administer that content without calling me every time they need to do some, some table updates. I hope this helps. It's a rather crude solution. There are quite possibly better ones, but all of the solutions I've seen that would feed such a similar content from say a Google Sheet or from a Google Doc aren't as straightforward. I can't simply generate it as a ping. That would be fantastic. Instead, I can pull CSV data out from, for example, a Google Sheet, and then I need to go through a whole lot of parsing and formatting in order to embed that as a table. However, I have done it in certain cases. I have not done it in Webflow because I would have to somehow embed and parse that content specially. However, there will probably be future versions of this video that tackle that. Um, for the simplest needs, this should suffice.